Nadwa Aldasari is a conflict analyst and specialist in Yemeni civil society, and I asked her about Yemen's reassessment of that recent U.S. raid. I think for the Yemeni government, um, this uh, this this is this is mainly driven by the fact that the raid happened in an area where it has local allies fighting for the Houthis. The government has not made any major or substantial military wins since since July 2015, so it cannot afford any losses. Um, this raid has, in fact, um, inadvertently aided the Houthis by the fact that. Um, it it it, um, it undermined uh, the government allies on the ground, and so I think the government uh, stance is 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 is, um, is mainly driven by this and and the fact that they they want to send a signal to their local allies that we've got your back, we're going to stand up to the Americans and, and anyone else, and we're not going to allow them to do this again. So could we see an impact on future cooperation on counterterrorism operations within Yemen and the fight against Al Qaeda? Um, I, I don't think it would affect the cooperation per se, but I think it would affect um, the it, it, would, it would affect counterterrorism efforts uh, at large. Um, this heavy-handed approach is is very unhelpful. Um, the raid has. Uh, has it took place in an area that is contested between the Houthis and local tribes, and so unintentionally aided the Houthis. And this is not the first time. The drone strikes back in October 2014 actually helped the Houthis gain uh, a win over local tribes in, in Rada and al Baida, same, same governorate, um, creating a huge perception that the U.S. government is aiding the Houthis as part of a larger U.S. strategy in the region that's pro-Houthis, pro pro-Iran, Shia, and anti-Sunnis. Um, and so it, this raid reinforces that perception um, that has been around for a couple of years now. And so it created a lot of resentment against the U.S. Um, and by this raid, the U.S. has, in fact, um, gotten itself involved in, in Yemen conflict at a very, very local level. So how would you characterize the situation inside the country right now? In the country is at war. Um, there is a peace process that is pretty much elite-driven, uh, um, elite-controlled, that doesn't seem to be going anywhere and I think will not go anywhere because it ignores all the influential and credible and legitimate local actors. Um, uh, there are pockets of violence here and there. The government services uh, almost do not exist. <laughs> There are some positive things uh, in terms of security improvement in, in some areas, pushing out Al Qaeda and in areas, particularly in the south. But it, these are short term gains and have not, um, th there needs to be some uh, strengthening of security institutions at the local level um, in order to make these gains sustainable. Do you think the situation in Yemen is getting enough attention around the world? I, I just think Yemen is not the priority um, for for anybody. Um, I mean, the only the only reason I think why the West is is interested in Yemen is because of Al Qaeda's presence. Other than that, um, I, I don't think there is much interest in in, in Yemen.